Oh man, what is going on doggies? Welcome back to another video. All right, this one, I am extremely, extremely excited for this one. We are going on one hell of a solo camping mission. Basically, what we're out here to do is, we're out here to get the biggest, juiciest silver ghost possible. Silver ghost, AKA Mulloway, big, beautiful fish from the ocean. That's what we're doing. That is the mission. We've got a backpack loaded with the stuff. We've got a tent, a couple of rod holders. We've got three fishing rods here. I've been hoofing it for probably the good part of an hour and a half, pushing two hours now. And um, we're going on a solo camping mission. Whether it takes one day, whether it takes a week to get this fish, we are not stopping. I'll be out here for a week living out of this backpack until we land this big, beautiful fish. But right here in the background, we've got a dead tree. And this is the exact, actually that's not, that's not very dead. This is exactly the first thing that we need. What we need to do is we need to get our knife and we need to take a couple. Oh, this thing is actually, she's green. Get off. There we go. What I need to do is I need to get a couple of these sticks. We need to make a couple of tent pegs because um, we're gonna be sleeping in a tent for the next couple of nights. And um, if you have a look over here, there's a big storm brewing up in the background here. The next couple of nights, we've got a cyclone brewing off, this, brewing off the coast out there. So it's bringing in this unpredictable wind. Big storm fronts are coming in. Who knows what's gonna happen, but this is gonna be one hell of a mission. I wanna make a couple of, couple of tent pegs out of these sticks. We'll keep hitting the road. All right, here we go. Have a look at this for a little bit of a gutter. Wait for these waves to come through. It does look pretty bloody good. You can see this wave here sort of wants to stand up, but then it just pulls back. That's a big deep hole right there. Doesn't look like there's too much seaweed. There's a lot of seaweed down here. There's also a lot of seaweed up there. But right now, this little pocket looks pretty interesting. We could pitch a tent up here. Pitch a tent up on there. This looks good, man. Right here, look at that. It's a nice little hole. That's it. That is home done and dusted. We're sorted. We are not moving. This is home for the night. So I'll show you guys quickly what we've got in this backpack. You guys are always interested. So on the side here, under these two clips, we've got two rod holders for those two rods which are sitting there. We've actually got three rods on this mission. So we've got two rod holders. Here we've got a hoodie just because like the reports are saying rain, the reports are saying thunderstorms, but right now, it's two knots of wind and it is absolutely bloody beautiful. But look, there could be a massive storm coming. So the hoodie goes in here. On this side, I've actually got a raincoat because forecast for massive storms tonight. So we've got a raincoat. Man, if a big storm hits us tonight, it is gonna be so much bloody fun. I actually can't wait for that. On the front, we've got our good old dog and gun coffee cup. Don't leave home without bloody coffee equipment. This little Yeti bottle, that's all the drinking water we've got for the next I don't know how long, so we've really got to ration our water. 
We got the blow up pillow, little gas, little gas bottle. In here we have like a, a pot and a um, frying pan so we can cook on this thing. This bag, this bag is just never ending. In here we've got two big beautiful mullet. They're the mullet that we shot in the previous episode with the bow and arrow. Fishing reel for the noodle rod. Got one tackle box of lure, uh, hooks and sinkers for the big juicy silver ghost. Couple of plastic bags. Couple of lures for the noodle rod just in case we can get some live bait or we get some bait on sunset. And this, this pockets just keep going. We've got a filleting knife. My good knife. Oh look, there's just, basically that's basically all we've got. That's the majority of the stuff. A little bit of fishing bait. We've got the noodle rod so we can get live bait and um, that's it mate, this is home for the night. There's actually one more thing that I did that I haven't shown you guys yet. There's actually one more thing which I did when I very, very, very first I got here. This here. So what this is, this is a sand peg. I've just smashed a sand peg into the ground. And this is a bag of burley. So what I do is I put tiny little holes, little slits in like that. And as that water comes around, it just um, slowly disperses the burley. So you can see that there. That's a big chunk of burley there. And if you guys can notice this on the camera, just, just outside of that gutter where I'm going to be fishing tonight, there's a big oil slick. So the smell of that right now, it's sifting out to the ocean. Hopefully the fish from all the way down there and all the way up there, they'll come in, they'll smell that, but they've got nothing to eat. All they can do is smell it. They'll see those big strips of mullet and boom. Basically that's what it's doing. It's just slowly letting a scent out in the water. Bloody beautiful. All right, here's a cheeky little tip when you're setting up a rod holder, which basically this is just a bit of 50 mil PVC pipe. I always use the PVC pipe, it's way stronger than the junk you buy at a fishing shop. But usually, what I see people do every time I come fishing with a mate, this is what they do. I'll stick it in the ground and I'll walk away. Every time they get a mull away or they get a good sized fish, the rod holder falls over and the rod starts going into the water. So basically, what I do when I use my rod holders, I don't know if everyone else does this, but if you spin it like this, and you pull it out, that thing will be full of sand. You can, oh shit, that's not sand, it's like clay. Oosh. You can do this, spin it, and if you drive it right into the ground, flip it out, you drive it right into the ground, there is no way that that there is gonna pull out of the sand. And that's just the way that I set up my rod holders. A nice little angle facing the ocean. There's no way that a fish or a shark or a stingray would be pulling that out of the sand. Let's go set up the second one. Fish Slayer. All right, this is a super simple but effective rig. Three-way swivel up the top. Coming off of the three-way swivel, we've got two 7-0 hooks set up as a snelled set up there. See, that's what that big juicy slice of mullet's gonna be sitting on there. And then coming down, coming down there, we've just got a big juicy star sinker. That should hold us in the current. There's not too much current out here, so shouldn't be too bad, but this is the most productive rig I've ever found using or chasing these big silver ghosts. Let's chuck a bait out and uh, cross our fingers. Have a look at this, would ya? 
If this ain't living, I don't know what is. This is what it's all about. What I've done down here is I've dug myself a little bit of a rocker recliner. So sitting back in my beautiful little beach chair. Ah, it's bloody good times. The tent's over here. The tent's fully set up. What we did was, what we've done is, we've used, we used those um, wooden pegs that I made. I've knocked them all the way into the sand there. So that tent, she's fully tight. That burly bag, that burly bag has done its job. All that burly's out in the ocean. So what I'll do tomorrow when we walk out of here is take that plastic with us, of course. But this is how we're looking right now. Inside the tent, it ain't looking so glamorous. Basically, that's what we've got to sleep with. It's not too cold. We've got a hoodie, we've got a raincoat, a little bit of water, a little bit of cooking equipment, tiny bit of tackle. That's basically it, mate. But look at this. Have a go at that. We've got two rods, one rod's not not in action right now we've got one rod out never know you might pick up something on sunset but generally what happens is, is you get these fish probably usually pretty late at night so that's what i'm counting on anyway we're just going to be sitting here chuck a headlight on our heads and um we're just going to sit back and hopefully we get a big bend in a rod one thing that i don't have we've got we've got coffee we've got water we've got means of cooking uh, boiling the water but we don't have any food right now so what I might do is after I sit down, I'm just going to sit down, relax, watch that sunset. It's going to be a bloody killer arvo. Then we might put the noodle rod into action, see if we can pick up a few smaller fish, cook them up, and um, see where the night takes us, mate. Look at this. It really, honestly, doesn't get much better than this right now. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, it has started. Seriously, we're just at that beautiful twilight stage right now. That sun is just about to dip its head down. It's stuck in those clouds over there and um, this is when it starts getting really really bloody interesting basically what just happened i'm sitting in my lounge chair i'm just chilling out and then i just see this rod just go Wah! like it just went off its head and before i could even get up it was gone so basically what happened was a shark came through and just bit the sinker and the hook straight off like it just went ting so um the sharks out there which doesn't really piss me off too much because if there's sharks it means there's energy there's activity in the water and um persistence will pay off we're just going to keep plugging baits but one shark just took the whole lot let's see how let's rig this back up see how we go it's getting exciting this is the time it starts firing right now ow let's go man this is seriously what it's all about right now we've got two rods out this one just got absolutely massacred by a shark that other one has got half a, mu a mullet on it so it's a big juicy bait this one's got a strip bait this one's got half a mullet on it so we've got big bait medium sized strip baits let's just see how we go look at that dude it's honestly nowhere there is nowhere you'd rather be in the world right now look at this absolute bloody heaven come on go bang bang Woo! this is living oh stop it all right what we're gonna do is gonna quickly make a quick little cup of coffee and then that, then we're, we're actually, we're really cooking then. I've got to really, really ration that water out. This is all the water we got. That's all the water we got for the next, I don't know how long. But I'm going to fish tonight. I'm going to push out tomorrow on the next day. There is a town about an hour and a half, maybe a little bit more further walk that way. So I could fill this bottle up. Big walk, but anyway, have a coffee and, um, Hopefully that's the good luck syrup. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna boil in no time. 
actually, while we've got this couple of seconds of beautiful light left, what I need to do to those rods now is put glow sticks on the rod. So if you don't know what glow sticks are, basically, everyone knows what a glow stick is, but you can shake them up, bop, and then that there actually clips on to the end of your rod. And um, you can see your rod from miles away, which obviously that, that far rod's pretty far away right now. So I'll go clip two of these sticks on each rod and we can sit back here, sit in the tent, chill out for the night, drink coffee and watch one of these things go absolutely bloody berserk. Well, that's the plan anyway. Boom! It's a disco in the bush. All right, we've got fish on. It is, it is tiny, it's Nemo. It's probably smaller than Nemo. I'm gonna call it a small shark, but, oh, that is what I'm talking about, baby. We just got ourselves dinner, doggies. Yeah, that's a little tailor. That's actually not a little tailor. That's quite a big tailor. That's dinner. I am starving too. That's beautiful. You're kidding, I was literally, I was just sitting there, sitting on my little chair, that rod went ballistic, I ran down there. It's like, man, it's just small shit eating the bait every time. So that there, that's a tailor, he's well oversized, he's a beautiful fish, beautiful eating fish, incredible, incredible Mulloway bait. Like, if I, did, if I had food right now in the tent, I'd use this thing for bait. This is the best bait ever, but because we've got no food, we're out here trying to catch food, I'm starving. We're gonna cook this thing up right here, right now. I'm gonna, um, Oh, that rod's dancing again. I'm gonna um, rip a couple of fillets off it, chuck it on that little gas cooker and that. Dinner is as fresh as it gets, doggies. That's killer. That rod's bouncing again. I don't wanna see bouncing, or what I wanna see is just, bah, full lock, full drag, just going hard. That's what I wanna see. But anyway, that's dinner. That's incredible. Look at it, fresh as it gets. All right, I'm gonna rip, rip a couple of fillets off that, start that gas cooker up, and now um, we're gonna eat some dinner. Time check. 7, 7.55 at night. We've just got dinner. It's gonna be a bloody long night. I'll give you the hot tip. Uh-oh, this ain't good. There's sand everywhere. million bugs in me face. It's all right. Well, basically, that's our little bit of dinner. That's looking beautiful and fresh and juicy. The only problem is I'm just gonna try to keep the sand off that and um, that ain't gonna be easy. We'll rip and fill it off the other side. We're done and dusted. All right, what we're gonna have to do here is because I left the skin on, obviously it's got scales on it, so we're just gonna have to use this tackle box here. Oh, I'm getting mauled by bugs in my face right now. I'm just gonna skin the fish instead of scaling it. Make life a little bit quicker. There we go, big, beautiful, juicy bit of skin. That side, no skin. We're cooking with fire. Same on this side. Bang, skin off, don't need that. No skin left there, look at that, beautiful. That's dinner. It is so psycho out here right now. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to cut that blood meat off of that beautiful little fish we just got then because that blood meat don't taste no good. So I'm trying to cut the little bits of that meat off of, the, um, off of those bits of fillet. But look at this, man. As soon as I turn my headlight on, this is what happens. I just get pumped with bugs like that. As soon as my headlight comes on, these things are going up my nose, in my ears, in my eyes. They are next level, dude. All right, we're gonna have to sort that out. We've got a whole entire meal to cook now. It's gonna be interesting. All right, right now we are getting completely invaded by bugs. I'm not sure if you guys can see them on the screen. But there are bugs all over the place right now. They are peppering me. And um, I'm gonna hold off on cooking that fish. So hopefully what happens is 
we get a big breeze come in from the west or the south or anywhere and it'll blow these little buggers away. Fingers crossed the storm comes or whatever's meant to be coming tonight comes and it blows these bugs out of the way because I ain't cooking in this right now. All right, we'll keep fishing. We've got the fish is safe in the pot and these, these bugs are next level, man. Look at this. Hectic. All right. I'll cook that fish a little bit later. Although I'm starving, I'm not cooking with these bugs. Hopefully we get a good breeze. Let's go. Come on, Mother Nature. Give me some, give me some wind. Oh, look at them all. <laughs> all right, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. All right, we've got another fish. It's another Nemo. I'm gonna call it a tailor, but it may not be. Ah, it's not the big ghost we've come for, but it's a fish. This is really good bait if it's a tailor. Here he is, here he is. Up him, up him, up him, up him. Yeah, baby, that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bait. Beautiful little tailor. It's a little bit smaller than what we've got before. He's either gonna be dinner or bait. We're keeping it either way. That's epic. Alright, so the um, the plan was to come inside the tent and we'll cook a feed inside here. There's absolutely no bloody bugs in here. It is beautiful. It's beautiful if you like saunas. Right now it is, I don't know, look at this. I've got, I've got sweaty arms, man. It's that hot in here. My arms are sweating, my face. I just had dri sweat drip off my nose. So um, I think I'm going to hold off on starting the gas cooker in here. It's going to bloody pump up the heat even more. We've got some bloody beautiful fresh tailor fillets in this little pot here. And also what I've got with me, pretty much brought the bare essentials. So what we've got is, we've got a sandwich bag with a little bit of oil. We've got another sandwich bag with a little bit of breadcrumb. So the idea or the aim of the game was to crumb that fish, chuck it in this little bloody camping frying pan and have a good old feed. But right now, too bloody hot. I'm just going to hold off a couple of minutes. Hopefully one of these rods go off. We get that ghost that we came for and um, I'm going to go back outside. It's too bloody hot in here. If that wind doesn't pick up and blow those bugs away, we're going to be forced to come in here and cook food. It's bloody hot in here, but um, that's all right. I don't know what's going on with this rod, but it's doing some weird stuff. Nothing on there. No way. Shark just came through and went bang. You're kidding. All right, sharks are here again. All right, this is bloody beautiful. All right, so what we got here is, that's another tailor, beautiful little tailor. What I'm doing with this one is I've just ripped a fillet off there what we've got now is we've got two beautiful slices of bait. So that is, that, that thing there is going straight on that hook set up. In my opinion, best bait you can possibly get. Fresh, beautiful, stays on the hook well. That there is going straight on a hook. We're gonna turn that into a silver ghost. We've got one fish in the, uh, one fish in the bloody tent over here. Um, just gonna wait for those bugs to chill out. They've actually sort of piped down a little bit, but we'll put that out and um, we're gonna turn that into a big juicy silver ghost. Watch this. All right, well, this is our biggest problem right now. This is a little baby shark. He's still, he's still alive and healthy. He's going to go back. But this is our problem. These things are just eating every single bait I put out. And it's, um, it's not good, mate. This is a little beautiful little shark. This would be actually a shark this size is lovely eating. But um, I'm not going to keep this little fella. We'll let him go. But look at that. What a beautiful specimen. Epic little shark. Let's get him back in the water. All right, mate. All right, all right, chill out. Hey. Here we go, buddy. All right, I'll see you next time. No, actually, I don't ever want to see you again. See you, mate. All right, off he goes. I don't want to see you again. Jesus Christ. All right, it is time to cook up a little bit of grub. The only... The only frying pan I got is this like this poxy little camping. It's all I could fit in my bag. So what we're gonna do is whack that on there. This is this is gonna be a disaster. 
We've got a sandwich bag with a little bit of oil in it. Also, the only way I could fit oil in the bag, so I'm gonna pour that oil in there. Just enough to cover the bottom. We'll leave some for later or tomorrow morning or whatever happens. gonna grab those little pieces of fish, smash them straight into this sandwich bag. Look at that, beautiful fresh fish. Just gonna bang them all in there. Ah. Second round of fish in the pan. We're looking good here. Oh, have a go. All right, here we go. We've got fish on the second rod. I don't know what this is. Could be anything. It's not big. I'm gonna say it's another shark. Possible shark attack. Times two. Feels like a shark, it's swimming like a shark. All right, so here we have another perfect example of why all my baits are getting chewed. This one's a little bit smaller, but look at the beautiful colors in them. They're, they're actually a really beautiful animal. Elite, like, legally, I'm allowed to keep four sharks. I can keep this shark, but nah, we'll let him go. Let's get him back in the drink. Look at that, that's the business end of a shark right there. You probably can't see the teeth because it's covered in sand, but all right. You can go back to the ocean now, mate. We don't want to see you again. Beautiful little fish. Alright mate, there's a wave coming, you ready? Alright mate, go. Well, it's been a bloody long time coming, but here it is. Dinner is finally served. We've got beautiful fresh Taylor right here. Look at these little golden brown nuggets, how good is that? Oh. Yep. Not there's no salt, there's no pepper, there is nothing on this fish, just that just that breadcrumbs. That's it. It actually tastes pretty good. It's not bad at all. Time check. It is now 10.05 at night. No really big fish. We've lost a couple of rigs to sharks now. There's quite a few sharks actually, but still no silver ghost. The mission is not complete as yet. Hell fun, but. Seriously, just sitting here, eating this bull bloody beautiful fish. And I'm just watching these rods like a hawk, man. Cause I know what it's like. You just, you start getting into like a, a mindset where you're like, oh man, it's not on, it's not on. And the next minute it's just, got that big beautiful fish you put so much hard work in for it's coming just watching them little glow sticks go baby all right we have fish on this is definite fish on come on please be that ghost I've been looking for. Please be that ghost. <sighs> ah, it's just a small little thing. Well, surprise, surprise, surprise. There's another bloody shark. They're all about the same size. These things are ruthless, man. You can't get past them. There's actually a problem here in Western Australia. We have way too many sharks. This is ridiculous, man. Get out of here, you mate! These bugs come in waves. It's like one minute there's a, one minute there's no bugs, and then they just come back full force. But look, it's been a bloody minute since we saw each other. The time right now is 
Time right now is 2.18 in the morning. And um, a very quick update, we are running out of hooks. There's so many sharks out there right now that um, I'm just losing all my gear to sharks. I've got one set of hooks left. Once we lose these hooks, we're done and dusted. There's no more fishing. I've got no hooks. I packed extremely light on this mission. That little bag, I just packed it very light and um, I'm running out of hooks quick smart. So if we lose the hooks that we're using right now on this one rod, we're done and dusted for fishing, which sucks, but whatever. I've never seen so many sharks here ever, ever before. Anyway, it's two o'clock in the morning. We're running out of hooks. The sky has gone super cloudy. It might rain soon. Hopefully it does. It might get rid of these little bugs. And um, there's an update for you. It's two o'clock in the morning. We're running out of hooks. We're only fishing with one rod now. And um, hopefully we can get a big fish on the deck. See so how we go. They ought to be a mongrels. Look at them. They're everywhere, man. Hey, 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 hey. All right, all right, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Doggies, 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 the time has come. Oh my God. Please, please, please. Oh, look at this, look at this. This is big. Big, 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 big. Oh no. Ah, it's really big. Oh my goodness. There it goes. Ah, you mongrel! The time is 4.25 in the morning and we just got sharked on our last set of hooks. That was psycho. That's it, it's all over. 4.25 in the morning and we just lost our very last set of hooks to a very, very, very big shark. Why does it have to happen, man? You've got to be kidding me. All right, so that was our last set of hooks. That's our very, very last set of hooks I've got out here on this little camping mission. And um, that shark just came in like a bloody road train, picked up that bit of bait and just went straight for the horizon, no stopping that thing. Man, that's our, like, that, that is our last set of good hooks. Like I've got hooks, but they're these like little pin, little pinny hooks that they did. You just can't catch my way on the hooks that I've got left over. So we are done and dusted right now. The time is, what have we got? 4.35 in the morning. So we've pretty, pretty much fished the whole entire night. That sun's gonna pop its head up in about an hour. And um, I'm gonna go get myself a little bit of shut eye, I reckon. I'm gonna crawl into this tent and I'm gonna sleep like an absolute bloody log, mate. I'll give you the hot tip. I'm gonna have a bloody good sleep. I'm not even I'm not even gonna bloody get the sand out of you or anything. I'm knackered, mate. I'm just gonna pass out in here. Wake up whenever I wake up, no alarms. I'm just gonna wake up when my body wakes me up. We'll have a coffee and then we'll um I don't know what I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow or should I say today. I've got no idea, but I'll see you guys very soon when I wake up. And um that last shark was like a freight train, mate. Alright, see you in the morning, much love. bloody bright out here right now. Ooh. Good bloody morning to you. Look at this. I don't even have a voice right now. I'm so tired, man. It is 9.30 in the morning. That is one hell of a sleeping, man. Oh man, I was like a log out. Oh, I just hit the bed and I was out cold, man. A little bit of an interesting morning today. Look at this. 
a little bit of cloud cover over the top here. Man, I had an incredible bloody sleep. That was, oh, I'm losing my voice. Look at this, it still looks beautiful as ever. All right, you guys know exactly what time it is right now. It is barista sessions time. Man, I need a coffee bad. That's not, that ain't gonna lighten the wind. It's like 20 knots wind right now. 15, 20 knots from the east. Oh, there she goes. All right, we got fire. What do we need is we need this thing. We've got very, very little water left, but we've definitely got enough for a coffee. Put that there. Just gonna make a little bit of a little bit of an espresso. We're gonna keep this water. All right. All right, we are on. Look at this. What a bloody place to wake up. I literally sat in my tent this morning for like 40 minutes and I could not open my eyes. Like I was so dead, I was out of it. Oh yeah, that thing's pumping. <coughs> oh, I'm actually losing my voice. Lots of screaming last night on and off the camera. Every time a shark would pick up the bait, I would just Man, I just get up out off the floor and just absolutely leg it over to the rod and then obviously it was a shark. Hopes were high for a big silver ghost, but look, if you guys have been keeping keeping track with these Mulloway fishing videos, we've done five, five Mulloway from five trips. So this is the sixth, sixth trip and um, bloody hell, you need to not get one. You need to not get one at some point. We had a good run. We had a real good run. We got five fish for five, five fish in five sessions. And then obviously last night, tables have turned. They've set us back to zero, but that's all right. That's fishing. It's not every time you go out and you get a fish, especially a mullet. They're a little bit harder. It's a little bit of the harder fish to catch. That's hence the name Silver Ghost. Oh, smell that. Ow! Here's to another bloody barista session, doggies. Look at this. Smells good. Oh, it tastes even better. And this view just tops it off. Look at that. Hey! Oh, listen to my voice. I sound like a little 12 year old girl. Hey! <laughs> All right, well, the game plan is back up this tent pack everything up, pack my bag, and then um, once I've got everything packed and sorted, I'm gonna, um, I think we'll make a game plan from there. Oh, we need water and we need hooks. Two very, very essential things. packed up our bag is a couple of kilos lighter we've picked we've packed up all the rubbish all the little offcuts of fishing line every little bit of rubbish has been put back in the bag we have no water we've got no hooks very little sinkers so the bag's a couple of kilos lighter than it was in the walk-in and um look that was a bloody super fun little session we, we got a fair few fish a lot of tailor heaps of sharks but we didn't catch that big beautiful silver ghost and that is why they're called the silver ghost because they're big, they're beautiful, they're elusive, and um, we are gonna come back and we're gonna get this one. We're gonna knock this one on the head in another episode. But with that said, doggies, I've got a big walk ahead of me to get back to where the troop dog is, and um, I'm gonna love yous and leave yous. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you bang this button if you wanna get your merch. These, yeah, doggies fishing shirts, man, they are guaranteed to catch you fish. <laughs> Smash this button here if you guys wanna subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, doggies. Much love. Soop. Yeah!